It's amazing. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lena. I'm going to be a first year, third grade teacher in Arizona. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Don't forget to give it a like, comment, and subscribe, and let's just jump on into it. All right, you guys read it right, the title. I bought a freaking robot for my classroom. This is so exciting. I'm just, I have so much to tell you guys. So this was one of my first purchases for my classroom back in like March or April. Um, I never really knew what coding was. I felt like I was living under a rock when I got into my student teaching placement um, because my student teaching placement class, they were masters at coding. It was just so incredible. There are third graders coding robots doing so many cool things that I didn't even know third graders knew how to do. And that's what the magic of coding is. It is so special, it is so empowering. Students learn so much. There's no like gender gaps, like everyone loves coding and I think it's so awesome. So I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about what coding is and this robot that I got, this is called the Spark um, and you connect it through sphero.edu. Um, and so yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so I bought my Spark on Amazon for, um, I think it was 111 Maybe it was 102 I don't know, but the price right now is 102 This was higher, so the price is dropping on these. So if you guys are interested, I would highly recommend it. It is awesome for your students to learn about the world of coding. So I will leave everything in the description box below so you guys can see more. Okay, so I have my iPad here. Don't you guys just love this case? Oh, it's so cute. So I'm going to read the 10 surprising skills kids learn through coding um, that I really saw with my own two eyes when I was student teaching. Um, so I'm getting this from weirdteachers.com. I will link this below and I will also find other um, resources that talks about coding so you guys can read about it and see if you are interested in your classroom. I'm interested. Did I say that word right? So I will link the articles down below that if you are interested in um, bringing coding to your own classroom. but. These 10 skills are awesome and it's something that us teachers sometimes struggle to figure out how we can fit these skills in. All right, so the first skill is critical thinking. This is something we as teachers strive our students to know and to have critical thinking skills. And so coding, this is probably the number one skill they will, will learn. They have to figure out how to problem solve and that's one of these skills too is problem solving, persistence, courage to try new things, math skills, uh, meaningful context, processing skills, determination, creativity, and overcoming gender barriers. I think this one is a really important one because um, it just kind of shows that coding can be for anyone. Um, this specific website, I'm quoting this, it says, men hold most of the jobs in the tech industry, especially when it comes to coding, and I want to change this. I recently learned that less than 1% of coders are girls of color. Okay, so the last skill really spoke to me about the gender barriers and the gender gap. So basically this was kind of saying how there are a lot of jobs in the tech industry that are taken by male figures and to um, interest female and girls into this industry would be awesome to incorporate all genders that anyone can do this. And I think incorporating this at a young age really helps students um, kind of figure out what they want to do. I even remember in school me telling myself that um, what am I going to do with this. I think coding is something that they can take forever. It is something that is so powerful and I've seen it with my own two eyes. It is amazing and I'm so excited too because my school has a designated STEM night and so hopefully with this year it still goes on. I don't know if it will. but. I am super excited to show my students what um, this robot does and I really hope they like it. I just can't wait. So we are just going to get started. I filmed an unboxing so let's just watch it now. Alright we're going to try this again because I just unboxed this and it didn't record so or it didn't save let's say. So this is the box it comes in. It has all of this sides. Um, labeled with info, it kind of um, deconstructs what exactly the robot slash ball is and what you would download to kind of activate it and different things to do. And then we're back at the front. So this is the Spark version. They have a Bolt and other versions as well. This is the cheapest one, so that's what I got. So we are going to open it like so. And we are going 
voila so pretty okay so zero.edu okay so this is what it looks like when you open it and this is the package so let's go through this all right so before we open the robot we are going to look what is inside so so there's this just a bunch of small writing then there is this Turn it over and it kind of has some ideas that you could do. Here's another one that kind of tells you what to do. My favorite is all of these stickers. I'm so excited for all these stickers. So cool. And then this is a protractor, which is super nice because you will need this. Um, when you do the degrees of what how um, what degree you want your robot to turn so this will be very helpful all right now on to the best part so this is just the USB that will charge your robot and that will plug in to this so there is a small port right there that you will then plug in like so and then plug this into a usb cube or an outlet that has a usb and then here is some maze tape so this just has some measurements this is for um your basically your robot um to stay inside the boundary so this is very helpful and then I don't think there's anything. Yeah, there's nothing under there. And then here is our robot. So it is so cool. There's so many different gadgets inside. Um, also lights up. And the super cool thing is that if you put it in the battery, it will move to where it needs to go. So obviously this bottom part connects to there but if you just set it on it like that it will automatically move it to where it's supposed to go so super cool i'm going to let it charge and then we're going to see how it works all right so you're going to open up the app sphero.edu and it's going to walk you through the introduction process so you're just going to swipe right till you get to the sign up screen and then you're going to click the educator profile and sign in with your school email and you're going to create your username um, and then it's going to send you an email and you're going to click the link and activate it and then once you do you're going to get back to this page and it's going to walk you through um, the steps of how to create a program so um, this is the program that it was um, first here and then these are blocks down here and basically you're just going to play with it and um, see what you want to do um, and then it wanted me to aim my robot um, and so the Sphero Spark um, that is at the top the third one from the top um, and then I had to go connect my robot so once I did that I was able to click it again and it connected so once it did um, I realized that it had a software update so we are going to do that real quick okay so I hope this you guys can see this um, so basically it just says to place my spark on the ground and then drag the aim ring until the Spiro spark blue tail right faces you so I am over here if you guys can't tell and so I'm just going to use this circle to face me okay so we are just gonna do what this um, does so we're just gonna see what it is so we're just going to play around so so if I want to change the color to like pink and then I want it to roll at zero degrees at a speed of 
29 for two seconds and then I'm going to spin 360 for five seconds and then I'm going to do this fade from that to that maybe that okay for three seconds so let's just see what this does so now it's rolling or spinning 360 for five seconds and then it's doing the color Okay, so I realized that this carpet was just not doing it. The um, robot needs a smoother surface. Um, I wasn't thinking, and so I stopped this and created my own program. I thought I screen recorded it, but I didn't. And so I'm kind of just going to show you the end program and walk you through kind of what it is. So here it is. Okay, so basically this is the program. Um, as you can see at the top, it starts at zero degrees, goes at a 50 speed for one second. And so then it turns red and then it goes 90 degrees, 50 speed for one second, 180 and 270 and then back at zero. So it's going to make a um, square actually when you do it um but it's not going to be perfect but um it still shows the students kind of the um degrees of what um the robot is going to do so then i did this and then it didn't work out on the carpet and so i changed to my bathroom tile and the robot did fine on the tile i was nervous but here it is Okay, we're trying on my bathroom floor. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, so that worked a lot better. Don't try it on a shag carpet. <laughs> yeah, there it was. So as you can see, it was like a little square. And so this, oops. So this is what the program looks like. There's so many different things that they can choose from. It's awesome. So, yeah. All right, you guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any more comments or concerns or questions about the spark, leave them in the comment section below. I will try and get back to them. Um, but I will try and also leave as much information about coding and this spark in the description box below so you guys can learn more about it. But if you are interested, I would try and grab it right now. It is really at a low price. Um, they are expensive just because it is a robot, but um, this is the cheapest one that they have and it is 102 right now on Amazon so I will make sure I link that below um, but you do need a tablet to connect with the app so that is also another reason why I went ahead and purchased an iPad this was my own graduation present for me um, and so that was one of the reasons why I got this because uh, my school they have Chromebooks not iPads and so I wanted to make sure that there was a tablet that we could um, connect the robot to and so we could see the program so um, obviously this is mine but the students can create their programs on their Chromebooks at Spiro.edu you can um, set up accounts for all of your students they can create that online and then they can log into their account on here and um, do it so i think with this whole COVID thing i think i'm going to have me sign them in and click the program so i don't have 30 kids touching my ipad um but that would be super easy to do because they can go home log into it at home and work on it um so it's all around amazing um so yeah just leave all your comments and concerns in the comment sections no all your questions and concerns. all right don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys next time bye